This paper presents an approach to motion synthesis using an optimization-based graph. It combines continuous constrained optimization with graph-based motion synthesis. This example illustrates our approach in the context of interactive control. The user uses a keyboard to control the orientation and the behavior of the character. The desired orientation is shown by the arrow on the ground. The desired behavior is displayed with the text above the character. Same motion shown at half speed. This shows that optimization-based graphs can be used to synthesize long motions with a vast number of non-trivial, realistic-looking transitions. Our graph provides fast response to user input and allows the character to switch its behavior abruptly while retaining motion naturalness. Motion segments synthesized using continuous optimization are shown in red. Motion segments that were present in the original motion data are shown in blue. Motion capture databases contain a rich variety of human motions. However, it would be difficult, if not impossible, to capture data that contains all possible transitions between different behaviors. This example shows that even the shortest transition from picking to ducking requires the character to make a few walking steps. To transition from ducking to throwing, the character needs to take several walking steps again. We solve this problem by building optimization-based graphs. Optimization allows us to add a vast number of complex, realistic-looking transitions to the graph. To construct an optimization-based graph, we first iterate through pairs of postures and assign the probability of transition to each pair. High probability means that continuous optimization is likely to produce a natural transition. Next, we perform a finite horizon policy computation to decide which pairs of postures and in which order they should be chosen for optimization so as to achieve a good quality optimization-based graph with the least number of optimizations. Continuous optimization is then invoked on each pair in the order specified by the policy. If optimization succeeds, the generated transition is added as an edge to the graph. In addition, the user has an opportunity to classify some transitions produced by optimization as unnatural. This requires a minimal effort from the user, as shown by our user study, but guarantees a graph with only natural transitions. This process is repeated until the user goal is achieved or until there are no more available pairs. For each pair of poses, to estimate the probability of the transition, we first generate a transition using simple interpolation. We found that discontinuities in the trajectories of the center of mass and end effectors in such transitions correlate well with the probability that optimization succeeds. The lower the discontinuity, the more likely that optimization produces a natural transition. Pair with low probability and unnatural transition found by optimization. Pair with high probability and natural transition found by optimization. This example compares transitions generated using continuous optimization and simple interpolation. Optimization consistently produces more natural and physically correct transitions. Although motion graphs create extra transitions, these transitions are limited to those between similar postures. In a motion graph with similarity thresholds set to 0.8, it is impossible to transition into a ducking behavior. In a motion graph with similarity threshold set to 2, most transitions between behaviors involve walking segments in between. High similarity threshold set to 20, direct switches between behaviors can be achieved. The motion contains large discontinuities, however. Using an optimization-based graph, the character can switch from one behavior to another directly and naturally. An optimization-based graph also allows us to stop the current behavior if the user changes her mind. An example of stopping a picking motion. An example of stopping a sitting down motion. While motions generated with an optimization-based graph can change behaviors abruptly, the motions generated with the motion graph must complete the sitting behavior before changing to a walking behavior. We now show a sequence of motions generated using optimization-based graphs in the context of interactive control. The user interactively controls the orientation and the behavior of the character. Optimized transitions are shown in red. 
Motion synthesis using optimization-based graphs can switch between different behaviors abruptly in response to user input while retaining the naturalness of the motion.